I'm sorry, my cat is scratching at the door. Because she's literally the only one who loves me. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'm just a fucking shitty person going through a shitty stage in life. Whatever. It just kind of sucks when... friends put you down, um, you get fucking left out of the loop, you get fucking shoved aside, no one really gives a shit about you, and, you know, I'm stuck in this position where, because I'm so awkwardly shy, like, I haven't, like, I've come out to people, but they kind of just brush it off aside, and then I'm just, like, I freak out, and I panic, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm probably really wrong, and so I just, I just, like, I'm like, oh, I already, I already, like, it, it fucking took a lot for me to, like, come out to people the first time, and then when they ignore it, I, I'm like, oh, okay, and then I just, I just don't bother coming out after that, but it hits me every time in the fucking, like, chest and the throat, and I feel like I've been stabbed, and I just, I just, it, yeah, it's just really shitty. Anyways, um, so, that's basically one of, yeah, I guess a lot of it is probably me, the fact that, you know, I should just fucking man up, and I should just fucking be like, hey, by the way, actually, can you use he instead of fucking she, because I don't like it, you know, um, but I don't, and I guess I'm part of the problem, but I mean, like, I don't know, it's just really gross and yucky, and I really don't have anyone to talk to about this, um, I feel like if I had at least, like, one person to discuss this with, like, I would feel a lot better, um, like, you know? All you really need is one person on your side that makes you feel like you are who you want to be. Uh, I just don't have that, so... I don't know, I'm probably just being like a huge little baby. You know, eventually it'll work out, right? <sighs> eventually it'll be fine, eventually you know, I'll, I'll, like, I'll like grow up or something, but it just kind of sucks. <sighs> Ugh, I'm probably just too fucking sensitive, like I'm just such a little fucking shithead. Like, that's really all it is. I'm just a fucking shitty kid going through a shitty fucking thing, right? I mean, that's what everyone blames it on. I just wish it didn't hurt so much, you know? Actually, I really wish it was a fucking shitty phase. Like, the scene phase or the emo phase, you know? then it, it would make things a lot easier. Um, I don't know, I might, ugh, I still need to do some other shit in my stuff and like other YouTube channel that probably won't get very far. I don't know, I'm just having a really bad day. Um, I don't even know what's happening tonight. Uh, My friend said he might take me to a party, which, like, I don't know. He hasn't really texted me much. It's, like, 6 o'clock. I'm probably becoming too obsessive. Like, I'm just a little fucking bitch, and he's the only one who fucking talks to me, even though I still can't talk to him much, like, about things. Like, I can't, you know? Oh, fuck. I don't even... Oh, my God. I just need to stop. I just need to fucking stop. It's all just a jumbled mess, and I'm probably still gonna post it on YouTube because I'm a fucking dipshit. Like, seriously, how fucked up am I to know that this is fucking ridiculous, cringeworthy, and fucking stupid, and yet I'll probably still post it on YouTube because it's just the type of person I am. Like, you talk about overthinking, and I mean, that's it right there. Overthinking is that. I mean, most people fucking do something cringy and then they post it on YouTube or they post it on Facebook because they don't think it's cringy, but I know that it's cringy, and then I'm like, 
if I know that it's cringy, does that make it cringy? And I just fucking scream and I don't know, like, I'm the worst kind of human being possible. I need to just fucking stop. I need to just seriously stop existing. Like, one day I'm just gonna fucking, like, just fucking, like, walk into traffic and stop. But I haven't given up yet, so I mean, there's that. But yeah, probably eventually I'll probably just walk in front of a bus or something. I mean, it'd probably be a lot easier. I mean, they always say life isn't easy and everything, but uh, it's just like the overthinking needs to stop because it leads to panicking and it leads to it leads to this, it leads to this like mess where obviously I'm not happy and nothing's being done about it because I'm a fucking shitty fucking human being who can't do anything for themselves. Oh, fuck. Anyways, um, if for any fucking dumb reason you actually decide to watch any of the dumb shit that I post on YouTube, um, Uh, fuck, I don't even, I can't even, how do you get up from that and fucking say something positive? You can't, you just, you're like, I'm gonna jump in front of a bus, ha ha ha, stay strong. No, that's, like, that's just some freaking, <laughs> that's not how it works. Um, believe in yourself, because obviously I can't, like, like, you're awesome, you know? You fucking need to, like, straight up fucking stand up for yourself. Do something awesome. Fucking punch someone in the damn face. Do that. Someone's like, hey, you're this gender, and you're like, fuck you, I'm not. And then you punch them in the face. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, go, like, learn some fucking self-defense or some shit, and then if someone says anything, just fucking, like, punch them in the face. Or, like, fucking just do that. That'll make me happy. <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, like, you know what? I'll just become, like, this really awkward, silent person, and I'll just get a t-shirt that says, like, this stupid little asterisk sign, and then it'll be, like, he. And, and then I'll just, like, have a t-shirt or a sweater or something, and I'll just wear it forever, and then people will be like, what the fuck? And I'll be like, yeah, shut up. And then I'll walk away, and they'll be like, oh my god, stop. And I'll be like, fucking duh. And then I don't know, that way I don't have to talk to anyone. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, if I'm not making myself smile, who will, you know? Fuck. Right, positive shit. I'm supposed to be really positive or something, or, like, get you to live for something or some fucking thing. I, okay. Even when the world fucking sucks, and people who are your family, right, like the blood things, right, who are fucking douchebags, even if they fucking suck. You know what you get yourself? You get yourself a pet, okay, one that will love you, no matter what, as long as you feed them, whether it's fake love or real love, if you feed them, they are fucking glued to you. They don't even care, okay? Get yourself a pet, because pets will be there for you. Like, do you see this shithead? I locked myself in my bedroom, and she sat outside and scratched on the door for me to let her in, okay? Like, this is love, and goodness, and everything that is good in the world is this animal. Oh, fuck. Like, just, yeah, get yourself a pet when people are shitty is the only advice that sounds legitimately, like, fucking positive, you know? Get yourself a pet, because look at this! Look at this pet! She loves me! Uh. I'm so sorry that I'm a really shitty person. And all that. Love yourself or some fucking thing, I can't. Love yourself for me. I can't love myself or some fucking thing. Like, I'm, I'm just a fucking wreck, a nightmare, and a fucking piece of trash. Like, I'm a trash can with legs and phalanges and some shit. Just get out and fucking... I don't know. You know what? Yeah. Do you. Just do you. Just go ahead. Just fucking do 
you unless you're a douchebag if you're a douchebag and you're mean to other people then don't do you fucking stop like it, okay the way I look at everything is like if you're doing something with like wholehearted a good like mm, right like goodness then yeah go ahead and go do it you fucking do it you know like you had a reason and you were doing it for a good reason do it but if you're doing something be a douchebag, be a dick, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just doing this to help myself, ha ha ha, kick down other people on the shins, no, don't do that. You know, like if you're, okay, like a, a good, really simple example is if you're going to tell someone, Ugh. okay, so say someone has something stuck to their, like, butt. And you run up to them and you're kind of like, oh my god, holy shit. Like, you tell them politely, you tell them Ugh. nicely, hey, you have something stuck to your butt, you might want to, like, knock, like, get it off, right? And then they're like, holy shit, that saved them so much more embarrassment or something or, like, wow, I'm snotting so hard right now. Okay. Like, you did something good for them with a good intention. Yeah, do that. Maybe they'll take it the wrong way, something, whatever, whatever, but you still did it for a good reason but if you go up to them or you yell across the fucking hallway and or the fucking you know and you're like oh my god so and so has something stuck to their butt then you're doing it to embarrass them like get over your fucking self wow you dick bag don't do that right you know what i mean so you get what i mean right you don't do something if you're gonna be an asshole do something good because you're being a good person you know like maybe you'll fuck someone over but if you did it for the right reasons, I feel like they would understand. But if you did something for the wrong reasons, you're a fucking D-bag. And you need to be punched in the fucking D-bag. I don't even know. I'm just so fucking tired and I'm lonely and my friend's not even fucking talking to me. So I don't know what I'm doing for this whole weekend. Like, I'm just screaming. So I'm so sorry that I'm just getting off track because I just, it's like nervous babble, you know. Hopefully it's like slightly good ish it's not I'm so sorry not sorry because I'll just be able to see how big of a dipshit I am okay bye or some fuck oh my god